Mine, I don't. I actually have a final version. Like, uh, no. so. Here, cheese. Uh, mine's working. So, I pull out the Synex refrigerator driver, and I, it gives you an overview of the whole product. This particular piece is blade. So, but if I had, let's say, a Naga Hex plugged in, you'd see a blade and a little Naga Hex there. And then I could select the Naga Hex. And then if I, if I had the Star Wars Old Republic mouse plugged in, you'd see a little Star Wars Old Republic mouse. I click on that and it would change the whole UI to look like Star Wars Old Republic. So here, I'm going to take you through like, accidentally resizing my icons on my desktop. You can click on one of the button assignments, then click right in. So I could go in like I want to launch a program, I want to change a picture, I got uh, default images, let me select. General. Now someone assigned a uh, looks like a koala bear to one of my icons, which I have yet to figure out how to get rid of it. But, <laughs> but I could go in here, select, take a picture of whatever your favorite thing is, whatever. It's an icon, you know, it's a game program, it's whatever, and then put it in there and assign it to the key. Well, then you just go back into the menu once you've assigned it, and it would be. What's the resolution of each individual key? We don't have a, we don't quote an individual resolution on the keys. Because it really doesn't matter, you're not watching like, it's cell phone quality high definition display. Um, so, as you can see like. Well, I just meant for the icons themselves. Like, if you wanted to design your own icon. Oh, um, we don't have a requirement for it. I think if it's over a certain file size, it won't see it, but it can be however many pixels to whoever. But so we just want people to be able to grab a picture and throw it yeah. in there. You know, you, you want to kind of like not think about it. You know, I don't want you to spend like 12 hours in paint trying to make sure you get the right icon. I want to just be, as a fan, to be like, okay, I want this icon, throw it in there. You know, I want that icon. And then you, you could cycle through them. So, you know, as you can see, when it switches to a different active panel, there's a really, it's pretty cool and innovative. And you can, you know, have your number lock on and off. And it changes throughout the display what you're using. Hey, Nelson, can you try and find somebody who has the Wi-Fi password? Hey, Nelson, ask Norm. Hey, Norm.